If Newark is an old city rich in history, there is no single building that represents or signifies that, that rich history more than this church. This is old first. The Founding Fathers were a peaceful lot. They were hardworking and they were, were religious. They built their first house of worship on this site and named the town in honor of their first pastor, Abraham Pearson, who was born in Newark on the Trent in England. The building most representative of the City Beautiful movement is this Essex County Courthouse. This magnificent building was built in 1906. It is built of marble, totally encased in Indiana limestone and it has recently reopened after an award-winning $52 million restoration. We're outside the Newark Public Library, one of the oldest and best libraries in the United States. While the Library Association was founded in 1887, it quickly found itself much too big uh, for such a small building. And this building was opened in 1902. If you look at the architecture of the building, it's based on a Venetian palazzo. And when you go to Venice, look up from your gondola and you will see the building that looks just like our wonderful Newark Public Library. This is where it all started. In 1666, 12 Puritan families set out from the colony of Connecticut to find a site where they could establish a kingdom to celebrate their religion without persecution. In May, they landed on the banks of the Passaic River and met the Lenape Indians. The Indians were friendly, the river full of life, and the land fertile. This is where they would establish their town on the Passaic. And the Northern Commons here where we were standing became Washington Park because in November of 1776, General Washington's bedraggled army straggled into Newark from New York. Washington's army had been beaten in New York in the Battle of Manhattan and the Battle of Brooklyn, and as far as the British were concerned, the war was over and they had won. But General Washington, and this beleaguered band of men regrouped, and from Newark they went down to Trenton, where they caught the British by surprise in the Battle of Trenton, and hence the tide of the war changed. We move now into Military Park. It was originally used as a, as a meeting ground, but it evolved into what it is today, Military Park, because the Revolutionary War militia uh, trained in Military Park. Um, and indeed, the Civil War, during the Civil War, the Union Army also trained in Military Park. One of Guts and Borglum's greatest statues, and I'd like to add that Guts and Borglum is probably best known for the faces of the presidents on Mount Rushmore, uh, but it would be hard to top this statue as one of the most outstanding pieces of public artwork anywhere in the world. This is the Wars of America. Mr. Borglin was commissioned to do a statue that would pay tribute to those who served in what were then the Wars of America. Thanks to the generosity of Newark's philanthropists, great art and architecture were to make Newark a truly beautiful city.